Hello everyone, welcome to the Portal Pod. This is the third episode ever, and we got a whole bunch of news this week. Everything from Looney Tunes um, being sold out, to the Bad Batch being the wrong color, to uh, some new Daily Bugle news, and we got a new release date for it, hopefully. But let's get straight into it with the Looney Tunes, which are now available, along with the whole spring wave for this April. They came out yesterday as recording this, which was Monday. And yeah, the Looney Tunes was really cool. You are able to buy six unique figures from LEGO.com at a time. Unfortunately, that sold out. Um, Target and Walmart also have not gotten the figs at the moment. Are you going to be trying to get these, Dragon? Well, I mean, there was a there was a, a monologue in my head about whether I should get them or not, and it seems that Target just has decided that for me, as it's apparently impossible to get these. Yeah, I went to two Targets and a Walmart today, and no one had them. There was actually other guys there trying to find them, too, but they were just, they never had them, I guess. The whole district is out so I went to Lego and got Bugs Bunny, but they won't let me feel figs at the moment, so that's about it until someone else gets some. Amazon also has a six-pack, but unlike Lego, they don't say uh, they'll all be original, so you could get duplicates, so I'm not really going to risk that. Uh, speaking yeah, of which, though... Like a good thing not to risk. It would be very sad if you got all six of the same figure. Oh my gosh, I know, right? Especially since so many of the boxes have came out with no Wily e. Coyote, and instead they just have six Roadrunners, which is why everyone's getting a bunch of extra Roadrunners at the moment, which is a pretty big mistake. Yikes. But if you happen to have Wily e. Coyote at the moment, he's quite valuable. <laughs> Some other blind boxes were announced today. The new video wave that was leaked, uh, what, months ago? Came out. There's a whole nother set of blind boxes. Uh, a bunch of new pieces, like the slime head, but, uh, I mean, it's blind boxes, so I still feel like it's gonna sell poorly. Yeah, I mean, I saw those pics, and they looked pretty good, and I saw the pictures for, the, like, the actual sets, and then I saw the prices, and I'm just, ah, yes, this is, Lego is still deciding to make a line that will ultimately flop. Oh, yeah, I mean, the first line is still on shelves, on sale, and cannot be sold. Uh, they put out new, two new $20 packs with um, a dragon and fairy. They both have new wing pieces, which look great. And uh, they're using the one piece as a violin bow, which I thought was a cool detail. But yeah, like you said, there's a bunch of sets. The biggest one is the boom box, which comes with three figs for $100. Um, no, it comes with four figs for $100. That is disappointing, I'll tell you that at the least. Especially like, when the, the whole attraction of the line is these custom molded minifigures and you're only getting four. And I mean, what's the price per piece ratio on that set? It is almost a dollar a piece. Oh. That hurt. Yes. But, hey, you might like this part. It is a boombox that closes up and opens into a stage. Uh, I don't know. There's, as much as I love, like, little container builds, it doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me too much if it's $100 for that. Like, the video sets have never really appealed to me that much other than a couple cool figures. I mean, maybe the pirate ship. The pirate ship is looking pretty cool. Yeah, yeah well, going down to that, the pirate ship is uh, $60. It's half a pirate ship. And it comes with three figs. I also feel this one's overpriced with over a dollar per piece. But uh, the front half of the ship looks great. I'll give it that. Uh, there is some cool new heads. I love the squid head especially. But once again, like we said... It would be a very good line if they had not priced it $30 above every single price, including the blind boxes. <laughs> I would agree. I'd say there's one set in this line that has a fair price, which is the Candy Castle. It is two figs for $30, but the build actually is sizable. It's not my kind of build, it's like a Candy Castle, but it comes with a gummy bear figure and an ice cream singer. And I think it's pretty good. They reused the hair mold from the mermaid, and uh, it's a decent price-to-part ratio. So that's the one I'd be like, well, I could see myself buying that, but I definitely won't because it's video. Yeah, it is kind of video in general. Just, it's cool, but it's... It's not really worth buying it. Yeah, I would agree. They've already created such a bad name for themselves. I mean, almost all these sets, you could go $20 cheaper, at least. More than that on the boombox. And then you'd start to get good prices, I think. And the the lack of minifigs in the $100 set is just sad. Well, what did we expect from video? I mean, unfortunately, yeah, this was to be expected. The Bad Batch shuttle had images leaked, and I know we talked about this in our stream yesterday, but not everyone watches the stream. Actually, most people who do aren't subscribed, so uh, maybe subscribe if you're watching this. But the Bad Batch shuttle... Potentially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty great, I'd say. Uh, it seems to not be the final version of this set, which I think a lot of people are judging it too hard. 
Uh, the color is way off, so I'm hoping that gets fixed. And there's two way oversized speeders. One is literally from the 501st pack, so, you know, that kind of oversized build. Uh, five figs, only one new helmet mold, and it does come with a gonk droid for the first time ever. I mean, it's always nice to have more gonk droids. Oh yeah, I totally agree. Disney came down hard on this leak because pretty much everyone who posted on Instagram was banned, and it looks like whoever leaked it is going to be in a whole bunch of trouble. Oh, really? Yeah, Disney came down hard, so <laughs> maybe don't post leaked Disney images. Uh, just a word of advice. The Daily Bugle set also is rumored to, because I know it's supposed to come out April 1st, and obviously that didn't happen. So it, <laughs> it's now rumored to come out June 1st, which also doesn't seem super believable, as we have not got any official pictures. But Spider-Woman should be in the set too now, and like I said, no image has been announced, so hopefully this set is real. Hopefully. I mean, it'd be a lot of disappointing hype if it wasn't real, but it sounds like a really cool set. Yeah, if it's not real, LEGO should make it. Like, <laughs> I think we've proven we want this set. If you're a Friends fan, Monica and Rachel's apartment will be, uh, has been rumored. This would be the second Friends set we got. I believe the other one was just the other apartment. Similar setup, it's $150, June 1st release. Monica and Janice figs have been leaked. They both look pretty cool. Janice has gold pants, which is always a cool inclusion. But other than that, I mean, not much to say on it. Yeah, I think I've seen the leaks for that one, and it looks pretty cool, but I mean, it's sort of meh. Yeah, I think you'd have to be a big fan. Yeah, I'm not into the collector sets like that. Or at least not too much money. Yeah, I agree. And if you have one, unless you're a big fan, the apartments are very similar in the show and in the build. So you gotta consider that. Yeah. Disney Castle gift with purchase has been rumored. It's a micro build, 500 to 800 pieces. So, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I'm hoping it's like a $50, $60 gift with purchase. Yeah, and I mean, what Disney sets... Oh, it's the Disney Castle set. Yeah. <sighs> Is it really that hard to sell that set that they need to make a gift with purchase for it? It's not for the actual castle. That's the interesting thing. It'll be for something else. Oh, so that means we're probably going to get some more Disney sets coming out sometime soon. Yeah, that's a good point. Look, if it's for any set and not just Disney sets, I might try to pick it up because these gift with purchases have just been going for ridiculous amounts of money recently. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to start becoming an art to, like, feel out which ones are going to be good and which ones aren't. Because, I mean, the, the Amelia Earhart was a pretty hyped up one. That was one you could probably predict. And, I mean, I probably could have done two, and that would have been way worth it. Uh, the What was it? The teal car from the, I think it was Lego Ideas. Oh, that one went for ridiculous amounts. That one went for so much, and everyone knew it was going to. So, I think just, if you're in the LEGO community and you want to make extra money while buying your LEGOs, just wait for the correct gift with purchases. It might even be a better meta than VIP one. I agree, because if you get, like, let's say $100 worth of sets, you get $5 of VIP back on it, and you get a gift with purchase that if you hold it for six months is now worth $150. So all your sets were free, and you made $50, and you got VIP points. I mean, it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win-win situation. <laughs> yeah, because LEGO makes money, too. The only lose is if you actually want to collect these gift with purchases and somehow couldn't get them until <laughs> three to four months later. Yeah, if you want to get these, buy them right away, because they are not going down in value. Now, especially the last two months, they've all spiked. So now's not the time to buy. Great time to sell, though. Oh, absolutely. The UCS R2-D2 was announced, which is an amazing build, other than the fact that it is piece for piece nearly identical to the old one. The biggest difference is they changed the type of gold used on the wiring. Uh, <laughs> but did you see this one? Because it looks almost the exact same. I don't think I do, but it kind of reminds me of when they put out the LEGO Death Star set, and they did the exact same set and build with just different minifigures. And I remember seeing that, and it was the cheesiest cop-out ever. I know. At least, this one, I guess, is selling well. My thing is, is just, why not just re-release the old one? But Or do something new with it. Like, have a new figure, or maybe have a different, like, maybe prequel R2-D2, because there's a couple differences there. But it's pretty similar. Great build, but very reused. It feels like the... It just, yeah, it feels like the Death Star. I just don't like it when they uh, put out a new set and say it's a new set when they just like change three things. It's there's no fault in just saying, "Oh, this set, uh, you guys seem to like it a lot." Here, you can buy it again if you want. 
I guess for uh, collectors who missed it first time around, it's a great time to buy it. Lego has got a whole new like group of adult collectors, so maybe that's kind of what this is marketed to, because it's a great display piece. But yeah, I guess that would maybe be their best strategy. If you've been watching the leaks for a while, I'm sure you guys have seen the Shang-Chi uh, sets that were leaked like three months ago now. Well, those are finally out and you can buy them. They are at Target sometimes, but like the other Spring Wave, um, <laughs> good luck finding stuff, honestly. Lego.com seems to be the best way, if you're, as long as it's not blind bags. Yeah, I mean, not much to say. These have been leaked forever. We've seen them. Also, I know Luigi um, was announced last week, and we did talk about it, but I just wanted to add that Luigi will act like a player too. So if you want to play the Mario game with your friends, uh, Mario and Luigi, I guess, can play the course together. I still don't actually know how the game works, as I haven't gotten any of these sets, but that sounds like a pretty cool inclusion. It sounds interesting, but once again, it's just sort of sad that that's all that Nintendo's letting Lego use in terms of, like, licensing stuff, because yeah, it's really pricey for what it is. It's extremely pricey, and Luigi's only in one, like, 40 or $60 set at the moment. Uh, another Mario set came out is the new Mario Poly Bag. It's a small sand and sea fish monster. Just like the Mushroom Polybag, or Mushroom, which I got right here, wrong video game. Uh, those are pretty cool, much cheaper if you like Mario stuff and don't want the big expensive electric stuff. But that's about it at the moment. I know Christmas's time is coming up, only seven months away. So LEGO has just pa paired up with Hallmark to make ornaments. They come out any day now, if not yesterday. There is Wonder Woman, Christmas Sweater Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper, and a Christmas Elf. So uh, quickly get those before Christmas time comes, I'd say. Because <laughs> they'll skyrocket in value once Christmas time comes. Oh, yeah. I like how it's becoming close to Christmas, as in it's more than a half a year away. <laughs> it's such a weird time to announce this. Like, all the leaks, they're like, no, nah, we're not going to announce. But this, we got announced seven months before. I mean, they're selling them right now, I believe. Yeah, Lego's weird about seasonal stuff and what times they want to do it. I know. The uh, Wonder Woman one isn't even Christmas themed other than an ornament. I love the Stormtrooper because it's a blue sweater, so it almost passes as Hanukkah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't have a tree to hang it on, so I mean, I won't be getting any of these. They look great, though. Yeah, it's always nice when they look great, but I mean, I guess Christmas time, seven months early. <laughs> I guess there's a big group of people buying Christmas stuff, or maybe they'll just keep it on shelves. It is Hallmark, so... High-end stuff just kind of stays on shelves for a while. Uh, some non-high-end stuff, although looking cool, is the Rise of Gru Brickheads, which were leaked and then announced within the past three days. It is two three-packs. We have Gru with two minions and Bell Bottom with two minions. Uh, so <laughs> way too many minions in these packs. Uh, four out of six of the figs. But they look pretty great. Yeah, from, my, from what I saw, they look pretty good. I have no idea who this Bell Bottom person is. My... Is there a second Minions movie coming out? There's Rise of Gru, which I forgot about uh, because it was uh, supposed to come out like a year ago. Yeah, and then COVID hit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You'd think they'd be able to make animations from home, but, like, you know, just send people computers, kind of draw it. But maybe I'm oversimplifying <laughs> the project, the <laughs> process. That feels like a great streaming movie, I'm not going to lie. I don't think that one needs to be in cinemas, but... Yeah, yeah, and I don't much. think it's the kind of thing you get caught in cinemas watching. Like, what is this? This is the fifth? No, that's the sixth. Hold on. This is the second Man. prequel. Yeah, it's the second prequel. And it's, jeez, so it's the fifth movie with minions in it. <laughs> that being said, it looks great for this kind of movie. It looks like they still have their touch. I agree, I have no idea who Bella Bottom is, but the build looks great for her. I love all the purple pieces, as always. Oh no, like the thing where they accidentally leak entire movie details before the movie has even been announced. Uh oh, <laughs> again. Yeah, I don't think that character was even in the trailer, so great job, Lego. I'm sure I put this in the thumbnail, and I'm sure this is why you guys came, but you can get free VIP points right now if you take a small five minute survey about space exploration. It is worth 15 points. And the weird thing about this is it's nothing about Lego, it's just about where you think. The human species will go in Mars and stuff, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, I think it's a little bizarre for LEGO to just do this out of the blue. I don't think I've seen them do anything like this before. And it might hint at some form of, like, LEGO space theme that they might bring back, like, the old system stuff. Oh, you know, I didn't even think about that, but that would be amazing. Ah, that would be so hype. 
some new space stuff would be awesome. I mean, they have done the space sets recently, but nothing like the classic. It's quite cool. And like I said, it's 15 points. It is only 15 points, which is just barely anything. I think it's like 15 cents. But if you do need it to kind of tip you over to the next money thing, I think it's definitely worth it. If you were going to the store and tried to cash out like $20 of points and realized you were 5 or 15 points off, you would regret it. And you would have been like, hey, I should have listened to the Portal Pod. So <laughs> you heard it here first. Get those free 15 VIP points. Exactly. If they keep doing these free 15 VIP points, they're going to start adding up. So we'll see. Uh, do be careful, though, because under this section, to get to it, you got to go to VIP and then go get more points. Under this section, they have three or four other surveys that are also five minutes and give you no points. They put it under the get more points section, but it says plus zero points. I did try Ooh. them out for you guys. <laughs> it's a waste of time. So <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. If you want to help them out, I guess you can take the survey, but it's very misleading, which is upsetting. It says in the little fine print, it's like plus zero points. I'm like, gee, thanks. That was a waste of my time. Moving on, the creator castle was leaked. It is just a creator three in one, so there's no figs, unfortunately. It does look pretty good. I just wish we had a castle theme. It's a three in one. There is a castle, a different castle, and a lighthouse. From the super pixelated images, they do look good. There is a brick built dragon in it, but it's a kind of a weak build. I mean, it's not what I wanted. I think it looks pretty great, though. Have you seen it, dragon? Uh, no, I haven't seen it myself, but I mean, brick belt dragons are always cool. I mean, unless it's a really weirdly proportioned one. It doesn't have a body. What? Yeah. Excuse me? How does that work? <laughs> well, so they gave it a tail, and they gave it wings, but the thing connecting the head to the wings to the tail is just a really long tail. Oh, so it's basically like a, a, serp a winged serpent. Yes, except from the wings look horrible. And so does the head. Jeez. And so does the tail. Okay. So <laughs> I, take, I take back my praise about it. <laughs> Not to ruin your first year bubble, but yeah. Uh, the castle does look pretty good. It's really open on the inside. It's more of a wall than <laughs> anything else. It's a very cool wall, but it's a wall. It's not like, hey, there's a castle and then there's a town. It's, hey... This part of the wall is castle-themed, this part of the wall is town-themed, and you can close it into a circle, almost. <laughs> the lighthouse looks great, though. It's like 10 pixels, but it looks, <laughs> it looks great. And then the last thing I have here is just uh, any other spring sets that have been announced, like the Batmobile, are all out at this point. Lego.com has all of them, other than the Looney Tunes six-pack, and Target and Walmart at some point should be getting them, so check your store. Good luck. You can't call Target at the moment, because if you call them, the first thing they say is, hey, if you ask our people for um, what we have in stock, we're going to hang up. And I tried it anyways, and guess what? They hanged up. They so hung up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to actually check your store. And if you're like me, it won't go well. Any sets you're going to be getting, Dragon? I, I know you just had that big haul. Oh, I don't think I'll be getting any sets in the future. I think I'm going to wait until either a good gift with purchase comes along, or the double VIP point from on everything comes along because those are just like it's basically free money and you shouldn't be buying sets unless you're getting that or unless you really like unless it's a good occasion just wait till you hear this in like three weeks we have another double vip weekend mm. i'm just waiting for them to do the triple <laughs> vip point right after i buy all my big expensive sets oh my They're gosh really we haven't got one of those in forever those were the best though have we gotten those before yeah we have i believe oh. don't quote me don't quote I me on that. That is the Portal Master Studios motto. I feel like I got fifteen dollars off of every hundred sets I bought at some point in time, but maybe that was just the old VIP piss system because you used to get more points per dollar. Now it's like, hey, you get sixty-seven points per dollar, but they're not worth as much. So <laughs> try to do that math. Good luck. That's the way that they make all points worth less. So if you saved up more in the old days, your old points aren't worth as much. Which, I mean, might be another scare tactic to try and get you to spend out just in case they drop the value of points again. <laughs> it worked for me. I heard they were going to drop the value of points. And I, man, I had like $60 of points saved up because I'd never spent mine because the Lego store was just so far. And I just tell everyone like, hey, use this and I'll get points from it. Thanks. Uh, so I was just like, hey, I guess time to go on a shopping spree. And <laughs> I guess their tactic worked. <laughs> 
But yeah, that's it. A uh, pretty short news week this week. A bunch of sets, but that's about it. Not a whole lot of leaks, some announcements, and that's about it. Anything you want to say, Dragon? No, not really. I mean, if you're a new viewer on the Portal Pod, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We already hit our 700 subscribes, so we should have a new announcement video coming out with all the stuff we're going to get to do. Uh, if you aren't on the Discord and you are a fan, go ahead, head on down there so we can interact interact with the fans a bit more directly. And that's where we do a bunch of our contests. And finally, if you want to find a way to support the channel without like subscribing or liking or doing any of the YouTube stuff, we have merch. Go ahead, just go onto the YouTube home page or our YouTube page and up in the top right corner on the banner, there should be a thing that says merch. 